Welcome everybody to Fulbright University Vietnam. Today we are at our new Crescent Campus here in District 7. We are with Dr. Ed Molesky, a professor of political science at Duke University, whose research focuses on political economy and transitional economies. Now, Dr. Molesky is working with us this summer as a visiting professor in the School of Public Policy and Management. Welcome. Oh, thank you. It's really great to be here. I'm, I've really enjoyed my time here in Ho Chi Minh City and at Fulbright University. Thanks for getting a chance to sit down with us. Um, I was wondering if you could start by telling us your research areas a little more in depth. What do those political economy and transitional economies mean? Yeah. And why is Vietnam such an interesting place to do this research? Yeah, so, so basically when we talk about political economy, what I am interested in is how firms interact with the government. And I'm interested in two pieces of that. So first I'm interested in how government policy affects firm performance and firm strategies and decisions. And then second, I'm interested in how firms interact and lobby and try to get what they want from government. So I'm interested in that interface. Um, specifically, I've been interested in foreign investors. So my original research agenda was on foreign investors, um, looking at um, what types of provinces foreign investors selected, um, how they worked with local officials in those places, and the impact of local governance on foreign investment performance. More recently, I've been interested in small and medium-sized enterprises, private sector enterprises, and they're looking at the features that were inhibiting the growth of those small and medium-sized enterprises into large companies that could compete abroad on their own. Um, and there, I've been interested in questions of um, governance, so issues of how um, in the administrations are structured, the type of information that's available to firms that help them make better investment decisions. How did Vietnam specifically become an interest area for yeah. this research? Well, Vietnam, I think, as, I think as I'm sure you know, Vietnam is, of course, one of the most dynamic emerging markets in the world, right? Um, over, the, over the past 25 years, only China has grown faster on a per capita basis. And in terms of foreign direct investment attraction, Vietnam is one of the most important foreign investment um, um, area, foreign investment locations. So, um, on a per capita basis, Vietnam is among the highest FDI recipients in the world. So it's a great place to see these dynamics at place for so for someone like me. I think the second thing is that. Um, from a research perspective, Vietnam is a really open place where people are in really interested in um, sort of scientific and scholarly um, outcomes and are really willing to adapt and make decisions based on good scientific research. So I found Vietnam's a great place for, to get high quality data, to have um, good local partners, especially in government or in the non-state sector that I can work with, university professors who I can co-research with. So I, I found Vietnam to be really a fruitful place to engage. How does that end up coming to FUV? How do you end up at the School of Public Policy and Management here? Yeah, so I, so I have a long history. with So I've been, I've been coming to Vietnam since um, the late 90s. 96, 96 was the first year I was here. And, or 97, I'm sorry. So 97 was my first year. And FUV had just started, um, at that time it was the Fulbright Economic Teaching Program in 95. And so I, I knew a lot of the instructors and have been interacting with them over the past 20 years, you know, sharing research ideas, co-authoring, um, working together at conferences. And so I've seen and been really impressed by all the things that the Fulbright program has done here over time. Um, now, the way I got involved specifically this summer was as, as FUV, as the teaching program was transitioning to the F Fulbright University, I was working with the public policy school. Um, and I was an advisor to the public policy school on adapting and updating their curriculum as they were going to become part of FUV. So, um, and as part of that process, I recommended that they um, bring in a class called impact evaluation or policy evaluation. And the reason was, I was saying the techniques for doing this are very cutting edge, and most, most, cut, most sort of really prestigious public policy schools around the world have a class like this where their high caliber students can be trained in these techniques. And so I recommended that they add that to their curriculum. 
And they said, well, that's really great. We totally agree with you, but we don't have anyone to teach it. So can you come here <laughs> and teach the first um, iteration of it is for us so that we can learn how to teach this course effectively? Wow, that's serendipitous. Yeah. So walk me through, what is this class like? What is it like interacting with the Vietnamese students here? Yeah, so I should say, so the, in teaching this class, the way that they have this work is I'm partnered with a really, really smart young environmental economist from Berkeley named Le Viet Phu. And, um, and so we co-teach it together. So we work, on the, we work on the presentations together, the lectures, so that we take these techniques, but we adapt them to the needs of the local students. And then from that point on, it's kind of a, a download, right? I'm working this with a really smart economist and then showing him the techniques that have been used in other locations, and he's adapting into the Vietnamese setting. So the students in the class are, are kind of a self-selected group. They are students that have um, done well at the two, at two statistical training programs before, so the, the two core statistical sequence, and students that have a real affinity for using um, quantitative techniques. Um, and, um, and, but most of the students have a policy background, either as local government officials themselves, as um, working in the nonprofit sector, or working in businesses that interact with government. So they're really knowledgeable about policy and what's going on. So that's made the class really fun because um, we move very quickly out of the, um, the mathematical equations to the specific issues that they face and the specific questions that they face as policymakers that they would like clear evaluation on. So a student of yours comes for a program in public policy and management. How do you hope they change in their mindset and go back into their provinces as public leaders? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, so I would hope, I would, I would hope a few things. One, I hope that after taking my class that um, they, they start to think a different way about um, thinking very clearly about here's the policy question we face, here's the theory of change, this is what we would like to do, and then as they start to debate those policy questions, starting to think ahead about how they could know if that policy really paid off in the way they wanted it to, right? And I, and I really hope that after my, they take my class, they have a set of tools that allow them not just to be technicians, but to be creative problem solvers, right? That they can think like, oh, I've got this tool, or I've got this tool, and they have a better sense of how to apply those tools to, to the specific problems that they face. I think if, if they come out of my class just with, a, with an idea of, of how to sort of think creatively, think constructively and, um, and think and at each stage of the policy process um, um, have an eye towards the ultimate outcomes that they want to achieve and measuring whether they're meeting them, I, th I think we'll, we'll have done our job. That's great. Thank you for your time. I want to thank Dr. Molesky for joining us today. To check out more about the School of Public Policy and Management at Fulbright University Vietnam, you can check out our Facebook or log on to our website at fulbright.edu.vn.